Everybody. Welcome to a session of Barbie Rocks. First and foremost, I want to say thank you and hope everybody had a wonderful and safe Christmas with all their loved ones. And I know it was a different kind of Christmas, but I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. It's the start of a new year. I want to wish everybody a Happy New Year. And today I want to also say First and foremost, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in with Barbie Rocks and continuing to support our channel, which we truly, truly appreciate. Today, what I want to bring to you are a thrifted collection of Mimi dolls. These dolls are wonderful dolls, and I want to show you what's come up on my thrift and uh, show you just what Mimi dolls are, are about. So the, this collection here are called uh, Mimi Whirl Dolls. The company was founded in July 1973 in Korea. Uh, Mimi dolls were Korea's leading product. They were a fashion doll called Mimi's World. To me, they uh, remind me of anime Lika Jenny dolls. They were inspired dolls by Takara Jenny dolls, but these dolls are from Korea and they are from Mimi World. I want to show you these other toys on my right hand side. These uh, two dolls here are, um, these are Irwin toys and they, Irwin is a Canadian company from Canada, Toronto, Ontario. That company uh, formed in 1926 and it was founded by George Irwin and then so I believe the son took over uh, from his grandparents, from George Irwin. And this Irwin company for these dolls have been in company for over 90 years. So I want to kind of show you these dolls. Um, and I want to show you the whole different lines of the Mimi dolls. And all the different... What's fabulous about these Mimi dolls are the uh, fashion. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to show you all the different gowns and the different materials they used and uh, show you that. Um, so in 1972, when the, I mean, when the grandson joined the family business in 1972, they came out with fabulous toys. I want to show you this. Uh, I'm going to touch on this uh, doll here. And as you can see, it's Sailor Saturn. They are 11.5 inches. On the back of her neck says NTK T061. And they were um, manufactured in China. But I'm, and see, you see how long it is? So her feet are about three millimeters long. And uh, what I did was I took a Teresa doll here. Because if you look at Teresa's doll, so if you take a look at the Teresa doll, you see how long her feet is? Teresa doll feet is also three millimeters long. And with that, it's very similar to this particular doll. And if we take a look at both feet, you see how long they are? And let me just grab a Barbie doll. And you see how a Barbie doll's feet? A Barbie doll's feet is about two millimeters long so you can see the length of the feet and how they are much longer so with the Teresa doll the length of the feet are similar to these Sailor Sailor Moon dolls so these were dolls in 1995 they were manufactured in China 
and this is the face sculpt to these dolls and what's kind of um neat about this Irwin toy so this doll was yeah this doll here was a Irwin doll toy this doll here is an Irwin toy and this is the face sculpt of this doll it's pretty pretty flat you see that as opposed to a Teresa doll so you see how sculpted a Teresa doll's face is a Teresa doll face And there's the profile of a Teresa doll face as opposed to a Bandai doll face, which are these ones here. So just to note, it's a different kind of look for these dolls, the Irwin toys, but kind of, kind of different, aren't they? And here's another vintage toy, a uh, vintage Bandai doll. So this one here is uh, Sailor Mercury. And see how Sailor Mercury's face is? And let me hold it again. And it's very, very flat. But still a cute, cute different look, look for Irwin Toys. So here we are. So, um, so Irwin Toy was a Toronto, Ontario Canadian company. So how beautiful. Okay, so these are, uh, again, from Korea. They are from Mimi World Company. The company established itself in 1973. And I just think they are just gorgeous. So let's take a look, a closer look at all the gowns. You see all the different gowns, the materials they used? And I just think they're just so adorable. Look how fabulous the gowns are. This particular doll is not a Mimi doll, so this one is pretty similar. And with this particular doll, it's called a, a Joju Young Toys doll. And it was another Korean company, but pretty similar. I mean, they're so, they've got a really different uh, vibe going. So precious, so dainty. Loving all the different colors that they're using. These dolls are similar in height to Barbie. They can wear Barbie clothes and they can also wear Barbie shoes. So... I'm going to show you uh, the different ones I've thrifted. This may not be an original outfit, but come take a look. So, Mimi dolls are, look, at, look how gorgeous they are. They're just as pretty. If you can thrift these dolls in their original gowns, and I, I believe that these are original. So, they're really, really pretty dolls. So, if you're thinking about um, all you adult collectors, thinking about adding Mimi dolls, for any type of Korean and Japan dolls, they're they're most delightful and precious. And so look at look at the short dresses. Look how pretty this one is. This one here is a totally original Mimi doll. So, this one here, I want to really show you because I'm trying to get it in the light, but I wanted to show you how precious these Mimi dolls are. Look at their fabulous color of hair. So, these Mimi dolls were, the hair colors were, can you see the different shades? Just, just take a look at all the different hair colors. So let me show you these beautiful Mimi dolls and the difference in hair colors. Okay, so can you see how they glisten? You see how it's kind of like a really nice shade of red, golden blonde. The materials of these dolls are gorgeous. And, but, just take a look at the golden colors of hair from all the blondes. And you see how there's curls in some of them? So you get different, different shades of different hair colors. Okay, and the 
skip up fabrics. And this is the golden color texture of their hair. Uh, the materials, the hair are a different type of hair texture. The clothes are fabuloso because their quality. Look at this one. This is an original Mimi doll dress. They didn't spare any detail to the trimming, to the types of fabric. And this particular one I just love because I found her at a flea market and I was smitten by her. I thought she was just so precious and beautiful. And here is the beautiful outfit I had thrifted her in. I paid $15 for it. And there we are. So this is a Mimi doll from Korea. And see the feet are similar to Barbie. Very similar to Barbie. Uh, these Mimi doll world dolls, they also come with, see that? They come with earrings. They do come with rings. But what I want to say about these Mimi dolls is they're bendable um, joints. They're very articulate, um, many movable joints. They've got the head, they've got the posable arms, and they've got posable legs. They are, um, they're not on a twist and turn body, but the legs are bendable. They're a little bit different. It's almost like, let me show you the legs. So the way the legs work, it's almost like a bendable wire kind of pose. So here we are. And just look at the different beautiful outfits. So if I can just show you the hair texture again. And of course she's thrifted so she's missing her ring. With these particular dolls, uh, this is the facial features. See how dainty the mouth is? And I love the way they sculpted the eyes. And their dainty mouths. And look how precious their eyes are. And the different sculpts in the mouth. And the different hairs. And how the bangs are different look it's a really precious look let me do a side view for you and there's the side profile of a Mimi doll some of them are thrifted in um, not so good shape but glad to find them in original clothing but some of them are thrifted in great shape like this one here. Look at her hair. Isn't she beautiful? There's her feet. I believe this is an original yellow dress. She's retained her necklace. Dainty nose. Dainty mouth. Missing her ring. But all in all, beautiful and gorgeous. Let's take a look at her. Isn't she just adorable? Look at her hair. So 
side profile. Missing her earrings, beautiful hair. show you the hand sculpt to these. So see how dainty her hand sculpt is? This one's a more straightened hand sculpt and this has a little curvature on it. And here's another gorgeous dress. How beautiful she is. She not gorgeous. She gorgeous. They are just gorgeous. So for all you Barbie lovers and doll lovers out there, if you get a chance to thrift Mimi dolls into your collection, it might be something to think about. They are gorgeous and lovely, lovely and glammed up. <laughs> 